Pleasure Ridge Park High School was founded in 1958. The students and staff had no way of knowing that the school would become such a powerhouse in sports and decades later win a state championship. Their success would all begin here in what is now known as the old gym. Dean Koch played during 1971 and 72 as a member of the first girls basketball team. The old gym, uh, the girls felt that um, it was a start because when we all, we, when the group of us got together and asked my dad to get a team, we played over at St. Clement and we didn't have a gym, we played outside on asphalt. So to come in here and actually shoot at a, a covered building, I know that sounds funny, but it's true. We got those t-shirts and went and got the iron on patches and made our numbers. And then we came in here, put, our, put them on and came in here and played Fairdale first game. I mean, we were so excited. Um, where we started playing our games. And uh, this is us winning our first tournament the first year. And these are the jerseys that you see here. And this is the jersey here on the table. Billy Burton, now living in Atlanta, is a member of the very first boys basketball team that played in the old gym. The seniors were Larry Carter, Steve Prince, Rusty Lunsford, John Osborne, Steve Tingle, Billy Mo Mohan, and myself. We started playing there in the eighth grade. So you can say we played there for five years. Great great memories of the old gym. Some memories stand out more than others. In those first 10 years, the PRP basketball team set records and won many trophies. They also played some big games, a few being against rivals. And then, uh, I, I, this is the best title. PRP Girls Show Boys How to Win Title. I mean, I, I just thought that was the best. We had good teams back then. I mean, we had tremendous basketball team. The biggest game that we had at the old gym, we were playing Seneca High School, which is in the seventh region. Of course, we were in the sixth region. They put seats underneath the gold, which you're not supposed to. Fire marshal got them. But there's so many people wanting to see that game. Oh my goodness. We would be standing room only, uh, almost up to the floor, all the way around here and then and up in the, uh, they'd have bleachers up there in, on the stage. Within a decade, and by 1969, the old gym had become too small to house the basketball games. The district began construction on the new gym and moved all games to Doss High School three miles down the road. The old gym seats 850 people. Now the new gym now at Doss High School seats about 2,300 people. And guess what? That's still not enough. We played... We were the number two team in the state, and we played the number one team in the state central at Dawes High School. They had to turn away approximately 3,000 people. The reason for that, the reason the, they moved this from here to the new gym was because of the um, seating. There wasn't enough space, because back then we, we used to fill that gym every single game, win or lose, whatever. Not only was the gym the home to the girls and boys basketball team, but it was also the heart of the school and the Pleasure Ridge Park community. All right, now that was 63 to 36. <laughs> I scored 37. <laughs> and you know, I got most of those points um, off of rebounds and stuff because I was the tallest player out there. Some reasons why it keeps it, the memories are important for this gym is, is because of uh, of what was started here. You know, the first boys basketball team, first wrestling team, uh, the first girls basketball team, first girls volleyball team. We had Sadie Hawkins dance. And back when we were growing up in the eighth grade, we had movies in there. You respect this building, and you did respect it, and, and I hope it continues to be respected because of what memories I mean, of these guys playing here, oh my gosh. I wish I could replay them in my head back to you because it was just, I mean, I could see Larry Carter, I can see Billy Burton, I can see uh, Rusty Lunsford. I could see every one of these guys running up and down that floor, being able to sit and be together and um, cheer and be excited about something, something positive, win or lose. It was a positive situation for people.
The old gem continues to be swallowed up and absorbed by change. The stage which held so many memories has been covered up and the events which drew such large crowds have moved on. But what hasn't changed are the memories, the love, and the spirit that PRP still has for its gem.